Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Today's video is brought to you by Dutch Pierce. Hails to the Pittsburgh scene. This is part of the Pittsburgh scene. <clears throat> On our ancient future records. Vicious Blade. Yo. This shit rules. Pittsburgh Metal Punk. Very, very well done. Like riffs, riffs, and riffs. Wow. We have Kevin Parent on drums, Carissa Baldini on vocals, and her vocals, she has that, like that snarl that I love. I I'll be going over a modern hardcore band in the next couple of days, and they kind of have that, like, just mean, like, sound vocally. But, uh... We also have Eric Wynn on guitar, Jeff Ellsworth on lead guitar, and Dan Ford on bass. And recorded and mixed by Jason Jover at A Minus Studios Pittsburgh. Mastered by Dan Randall at Mammoth Sound. That's how you know shit normally rules. Dan Randall. Up there with, you know, in my opinion, Greg Wilkinson, Ethan Camp, one of my favorites of all time. One day, we're going to work together, brother. But uh, this just absolutely fucking rules. Like, I just I can picture myself, like, I don't ride motorcycles, but, like, you know, like, I just want to be on a motorcycle blasting this. Just, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those, like, fuck you. Like, you know, we don't give a shit. We're awesome. We know it. Killer five-track EP. I don't know if it's a demo. If it's a demo, it's a really, really good one. And I know uh, this is something that legit, I think, a large percentage of you are going to really enjoy. Check it out. I, I kept thinking it was fictitious Blade, and I'm like, no. Like, it's vicious. You, I'm weird sometimes when it comes to... I'm so used to looking at just, like, straight-up death metal band logos. Like, when I see something like that, I'm like, all right, where, where's the, you know, like, and then it's like, oh, it's just vicious. Let's fucking shred. Wow. Like those death metal vocals were awesome. And then Good shit, trust me. This one. I'm a 
Really, really good shit right here. Like, thank you, Dutch, because I would have never found out about this band otherwise. And is our ancient future based out of Pittsburgh? I have, like, some uh, Hellfire Death Cult stuff that's on uh, our ancient future. I'm pretty sure they're not from Pittsburgh, but uh, I know they did, like, that Topos Nomos. Yeah. Pretty sure they share members too, but I'm not positive. Dutch, you and I know you know. I should have asked you ahead of time. I apologize to anyone in uh, Vicious Blade that uh, I might have gone over. Oh wait, no, I haven't gone over some of that stuff. All right, never mind. Uh, unless you're in Topos Nomos, I apologize. But uh, I love this stuff. Like, I can't wait to hear more. Because this is a really badass tape. I hope there's... Yeah, this was recorded in 2020. I really hope, you know, uh, this is a band I get to see live one day. They seem really fun. They'd be awesome to open for, like, Siege Column. Or something like that. That would be a really rad show. Like, Siege Column, Vicious Blade, and, like, uh... Let me think real quick. Who would be good? Like, just on, like, uh... Like, I don't know. You could put a band like Ritual Mass on, like, a bill like that in Pittsburgh. And, like, have, you know, like, a good crowd and stuff. And, like, I love... Like, Ritual Mass is badass, yo. Like, that's one of those bands I really feel like... A lot of people have slept on this beast right here. Like, for real. I know it's only two songs. And kind of expensive for two songs, but it is so worth it. Like, if you didn't hear the last Ritual Mass release, uh, Caligari did and Steel and Bone did the vinyl for, I really wish I would have, well, they still do have the vinyl available, and sadly, I, I don't think it's going anywhere, so I do have a chance of still getting that thing, because I'm a big fan of the Pittsburgh metal scene, always have been, and... Vicious Blade just adds to that. And if you live in Pittsburgh, go see Vicious Blade. My allergies suck. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have to, like, keep clear on my throat. I have these flowers out front of my house. They're called azaleas. Dude, they, like, legit fuck me up. Like, my throat gets all fucking itchy. Like, I legit, I feel like there's, like, shit crawling under my beard but it's just allergies there's nothing i can do about it like it's one of those things like i really wish like they made like a strain that like killed allergies i mean you know you get shit that's like it works for like you know chemotherapy and stuff like that there has to be a strain out there that just makes living with uh, seasonal allergies a little bit easier. Because sometimes it's just a nightmare. It's like, oh, I have to record a video and, like, not look like I just woke up. Like, fuck. Because, like, right now, like, oh, <laughs> I just, like, I can barely talk. I'm like, all right. I, because I really, I've been listening to this, like, a lot. And uh, I, I really wanted to go over it. I was going to go over a bunch of Punk 7 Inches and uh, go over, like, this little heyday of Punk 7 Inches, like, crust and, like, grind. Because, like, it's kind of weird. Um, I would like to do it on a live stream, but this phone and, like, somebody actually mentioned, like, how come you don't play as much music as you used to? As you, Yeah, and uh, it's because this microphone sucks. This doesn't do... I. It doesn't do anything. I thought it would, but it doesn't. I don't know why. Like, that microphone, like, for some reason, it never, like... On, on the iPhone, like, the old iPhone, you would, like, have to take apart. Like, because I always had a case. You would have to take apart the case. And, like, I remember recording a couple band sets, and I... 
didn't get any audio, and that was the end of me using this. And then I did a couple tests with this, and it, I was like, okay, like it's picking up audio, but then I realized it was just picking up regular audio. It wasn't anything special. But Vicious Blade, five tracks on uh, Our Ancient Future program repeats itself. It's really, really good. Banshee's Blade, Claustrophobia, Abomination, Mortification of Flesh, and Burning Visions. Straight to the point. Death Metal with a little punk edge. It's great if that's your cup of tea. And if it's not, maybe you should make it your cup of tea. Like Just stir it a little bit and uh, give it a whirl. Because, uh, you know, I'm going to be going over some stuff soon that uh, I know is not for everyone. But uh, I wanted to spend last week mostly going over, like, classic releases and stuff. And, uh, you know, we got to do that. I don't know where this case went. Oh, it went underneath my fucking boots. Yeah. You're wearing boots. <laughs> I don't know. That, that was a dumb inside joke my friends and I used to have. You're wearing boots. I, I don't know. <laughs> I was so against, like, wearing boots uh, for, like, the longest time. Like, you know, it was Vans slip-ons, like, or nothing. And then uh, for, like, a long, long time, like, Etnies made these shoes. Uh, the original Mike Blaley's. Or Valali. Sorry, Mike. Don't kill me. I know I mispronounced your name. I thought he was going to kill Chris Roberts on that, like, five-hour Nine Club episode. Like, Chris, uh, I think he said his name uh, was, like, he just, like, mispronounced it. And, like, he gave him, like, a look. Like, dude, what? Uh, I'm not Mike Valali. I'm Mike Valali or whatever. The, whatever. Your band sucks. Or your band sucked. Uh, but, you know, I respect you as a skateboarder. Changing your shoe because too many BMX riders were wearing it in the mid-2000s showed me that you're an asshole. Yeah, skate hate. I don't care how many wheels you enjoy being on, unless you're a rollerblader. I'm sorry, that shit is lame. I don't, like... I have a friend that is a pro rollerblader. He's sick, but like, it's all passion because he does like, like, dude, he'll 540 like over this dead man rail. And it's like, like, so you got to send that to your sponsor. And like, I try not to be a dick about it. Dude, shut your asshole. I'm like, dude, but like, you're pretty much on, on a razor. But razor scooters get paid. I don't know. It's just so. Uh, if you rollerblade, whatever, like soul grind. <laughs> no rollerblades at the skate park. For real, I've 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 really nailed some rollerbladers that just weren't paying attention, and I felt like a dick about it because you're getting hit with a bike. It's like you know, but like, dude, sometimes it's like, yo, I told you five times, like. Like, I'm, I'm doing this transfer into the bowl, dick. Like, don't stand there. Like, I'm, I, I have a blind spot. Like, I can't see. Like, ay, ay, ay. But, that's why you listen to Vicious Blade, so you can get that rollerblader. Jack them up and say, get out of my way, sir. Or... Well, if it's a woman, then you just let them be. For real. Don't ever put your hands on anyone, period. Unless they put their hands on you because you're asking for problems. But if you're not asking for problems, go listen to Vicious Blade. Go to one of their shows and just circle pit for me. Or headbang. Because I can't physically still. So, yeah. Thank you to Dutch Pierce for introducing me to Vicious Blade. Check them out on our 
Ancient Future Productions. I have a patch here. I am putting together a patch bundle. Because uh, a couple patches got added to the leather. I know some of you care, but yeah, we have a Hellhammer patch underneath Impure. Got Larry up front. Order of Decay. Profanatica. But that's it. I keep it simple on that one. But like, I have a Black Sabbath patch. That's kind of asking. It really is. It's like asking for it. But I don't know yet. We'll see. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Listen to Vicious Blade. Support Pennsylvania Metal. Live forever.